still driving by. Um, I told you in the video before all the document of me games that pretend the Maslin police will verify it. The Stark County Sheriff's even know it. All the police know their document of me games that pretend. Even the FBI building, when I went there in what, January or February, well, we all know she never heard anything. No, I didn't. I almost died to save my family. Um, but these people are ridiculous. You know what's sad is those people are so controlled in that church. I told you what happened when Ron's kid died. And when you see your friend's kid get killed in front of you in a car wreck, what do you do? You call him. They called that minister instead. And he called him a liar. And he hung up on him. And the next one called him the next one. And they're panicking. And he's yelling at him, calling him names. And they're such children and controlled that no one could call. The hospital had to call. That's sad. Brian Laney goes over to um, Blaylock's. And he came over and told my kids how horrible it was. And they were calling, frantically begging him to call. Because they couldn't pick up a phone call themselves. You know... <clears throat> It's sad with everything that's going on. Um, years ago, I was going to Blaylock's. Leah was an RN nurse. And beautiful like a Greek goddess. And she's such a lovely person. She literally would have coffee and desserts for people, uh, for visitors. And she paid for herself. And... Um, she, um, if we didn't have visitors, she passed it out to everyone. She paid for it. Successful, beautiful young woman, okay? Went through guys like crazy. What a problem to have. She was so much fun to talk to. Okay, so um, I had my son Danny, his family. Um, my daughter-in-law, Jen's mom coming. I had Heather coming at one point. The Mazovs, which is Melissa's mom and dad, and Mary. Um, and um, it just, um, the services, when I first started going there, Keith would preach, and his laughter would fill the whole sanctuary. It was wonderful. Hearing positive sermons where, at strangest, they beat the pulpit, they yell at people, and they control them. Okay. Well, they were taking up money for this new sanctuary. And he had services where his new pulpit was going to be. They even had um, weddings where the pulpit was going to be outside. Okay. I even donated it to it. Um, Ron shows up. And... One night, he is screaming off the pulpit like strange. You keep your filthy, dirty hands off the food that was meant for the priest. And he's screaming at everybody. I walk out to use the restroom. Another lady walked out and went, what on earth? What's wrong with him? Okay? Well... At the end of the service, he looked at him and said, Ron, come, you can come back and have coffee. Ron's not a priest. He's just a millionaire. That's it. Okay? So, um, he, um, Danny and Jen and her mom quit. Heather quit. Um, really quick. I found Leah crying in the, on a back pew, and I'm like, what's wrong? She said, they told me I'm not good enough. To serve the coffee. The coffee and desserts. That was her idea. To give to visitors. And then if nobody showed up. Just pass it out. And so everybody could stand around and have coffee together. And she was the one paying for it. So. Um, I said why aren't you good enough. Well I'm divorced. I said. That's a stupid reason. Well someone was complaining about her. She left her husband. Because he was abusive to her and took her little girls and left. That's smart. 
you get your children out of abusive environments. Her husband found somebody else and remarried. She's free and clear. He committed adultery. Okay? But because she left under the abuse, they didn't think she was she could get, ever get remarried. Because they control people. She dated other guys um, after that. And she went through guys like crazy. She was so much fun to talk to. Um, she would love him, leave him. And it, it, it's like being a teenager talking to her. She made me giggle all the time. Um, the sweetest person. Okay. Um, but that's, and she doesn't go to that church anymore either. And, um, within a year of everything starting, we went down to visit. And Keith preached killing Jezebel. It was so sick and so evil. They had to raise part of the service. Get rid of your wife. Get rid of your children. You gotta get rid of them. It takes the priest to kill Jezebel. Because they have no feelings. It was so sick. They had erased part of it off the table. We were up at Pamer's Church within a month of it starting. For things do not change as they are going. It won't be one that dies, but several. We need to pray. I look at Dave. He goes, it's not me. No, it's straight ahead. I'm like, what on earth? You know, I walked outside after my last date and some guy in the second parking lot. You framed her before? Okay, I'll take care of it. They all know it was framed before. Drug told to say stuff in Photoshop from a shower scene in the other room. Everybody knows. And everybody knows I'm innocent. And everybody knows Melissa's kids lied. Oh my God, they're documented liars. Maslin, please don't verify it. They did it for Mount Carmel, Illinois. Um, I had people down there harassing me. And I yelled out the Maslin, please number m my name. And they watched Dixie on Federal Avenue. They yelled out, it's a document of me. It was a pretend she never hurt anyone. They told the Canton officer. They told a bunch of other people. What part of, even though it was them pretending to be FBI for a call, well back, <clears throat> as a mean stunt, so Dave could confront me, and then drag me up so I couldn't remember this bitch. That is total bitch, smart bitch, but bitch. And it's Will's fault for not finding out that it, he's not a federal agent for not to look into. But he did start a protective life case. For an informant turned out of the place not knowing there was a judge's daughter involved. Somebody said in November there's a lot more going on down here than fucky judge daughter. Now, I'm going to put it this way. Somebody needs to come down, like Dave said, for there's a list, and we'll move on to who he wants. It's on a call mixed in with a domestic terrorism group. Everything they did to me, there was laws to protect me from it. You cannot be in on somebody's home and surveillance them. I suffer under a threat of life. Failure to notify before initiating and speaking to the other person in the home is abuse and misconduct. Failure to protect is abuse and misconduct. Department of Justice, who do you report? 
FBI, ICE, Police Department, and the Department of Justice. It's a legal search and seizure. No one's allowed in your home except for those who protect it like it's set up correctly. Nobody was allowed in my home that night. I wouldn't have to worry about you framed or where I had drugs pumped into me and had bruises and they had stabbed me in my sleep and Murphy drinks with amnesia drugs and then lie. They had sodium pentothal reports. I'll tell them what was in those needles. I have never been questioned with Miranda Mike. Never found guilty. And never prosecuted. How stupid are these people? They can't enter. Even the regular police in uniform laugh at them. We could never look or listen to their tapes. No one was allowed in your home until we'll agree to protect you. You know, at this point, I would have thought it was just the weirdos harassing me doing this the whole time as far as um, the legal surveillance. But police in uniform mentioned care around the house. What's that? One of us have to watch or listen to her each day. And they mention different things of the case. So there is a real threat to life. Protective life, custody for an informant. And even the Tuscarora Sheriff. Karen, what have you been up to? He started giggling and one of the Ravenna cops shook his head no not to talk to me. When I did an address change on my CCW. I, I said, I need an address change. He said, okay, we'll back out of the screen. I heard about that screen. Reinhardt said, it's a protection order over you. Protective light custody for an informant. One officer said, uh, it says Dave's trying to kill you. You're innocent of everything. That's what it says. I'm sure the other one was joking when he said, don't ever mention Melissa's kiss to her ever again. They're documenting me here. Somebody. All the police and the FBI knows they're lying. The only thing they can do, these people, the domestic terrorists, and we're spawn off hate crimes of the drug confessions and the photoshopping of their illegal surveillance. Shower scenes in the other room, ew. Um, and lying, they had sodium pentothal reports. You don't want to ever say you paid off a cop to stab somebody with a needle. and break in their house. That's serious jail time. You never want to tell a cop you had a fake order to watch somebody. Right heart giggled. There's no such thing of anybody being in your house except for those protect life cases only. And until Will took your statement and agreed to protect you, nobody could be in your home. It's illegal to be in somebody's home. You know what's something? They actually have Dave. I love you, but I love her more. I hired a man to slit your throat, stab you in the heart, you'll bleed out. I got a man to shoot you from Rod. I got the bastard holding me down for 30 minutes. They have Terry's phone call. The church has taken up money to hire men to kill me because Warren wants me dead because I got well the earth kid died. They have that. And then September 5th, him and Jack had it planned since March because I wouldn't give up everything willingly. They have that. Like one of my security guards said, that's a case. Strange lying to everyone you weren't sick when you were to manipulate them. So then I'll pay for it. And Mom want you dead for that reason. For him saying I was faking that second faking I got well after his kid died. That's stupid. 
That's and I have documents I have sex. That's just stupid. But they're metal. And Dave to get everything for his girlfriend. That's okay. This is premeditation obstruction to justice. And since they can't do anything with their evidence, mm -hmm, all they can do is get their hate crime and spawn it on to people with no IQ not to stay out of it and could go to jail the rest of their lives. January 12, 22, Walgreens on North Main by 5 o'clock. Well, some men were following and harassed me when my security guard showed up. Then I'm at the door. Will those kids get caught standing? They made everything up. Document of me came to the town. October 5th, 21, 1 53 p.m., Cleveland Avenue. Go in. I want Melissa again, no money on this. That's okay. They know they made everything up. They didn't want anybody to help her. It's like, shut up. As they called her, old news. Besides the fucking. Well, wow, fucking shit my family should be ashamed of. Mean jokes in a shit pot. That's how they called her. I swear, like, the men that used to watch me. They swore like it was. You have the west line? I'll go by and scream. Pamer preached. It's been a month and a half. If things do not change as they are going, it won't be one that dies, but several. We need to pray. Looked at Davy, said it's not me. And I'm like, what is it? March 1st to March 15th of 19, I'm sitting on the back porch. Someone calls Dave, you can hear him inside. It's a real life case of how to get away with murder. She'll realize it. I told him the police even told him I was innocent. January 25th, 2019, illegally booked house between 8.30 and 10.30 at night. The police always knew she was innocent and innocent before. They were talking about it at the station. Some guy was bailing his guy out from a team. Said, if she's innocent, I'll pay up the fine or bail. Said, no, the police already knew she was innocent and innocent before. And they never want to arrest her. They knew somebody else did something wrong before. Where they photoshopped a shower scene in the other room and dark confessions. And I've never been questioned with Miranda rights. Never prosecuted and never taken to trial. All I had was bruises and got sick on drinks. You can't get somebody high and make them say something stupid and think you can use it against them. Nothing's a mess of me. Not a damn thing. And they run around thinking they can get money. Or they can enter. They can't. And they know they can't. But all they can do is spawn their hate crimes with people with no IQ. Thinking that it's funny hurting people. Now, I need to go ahead and upload this. Um, <clears throat> it's not funny. I was found innocent in 18 and 19. October 2020, FedEx investigators in Belden, across from Belden Village. For we all know this woman is innocent. For we all know. I told you even when I was in the FBI building um, in January, February of this year, we know she never hurt anybody. Everybody knows that. June 23rd, July 4th of last year in Walmart by the pain aisle. Investigators followed me. 
What are these people talking about? She's never hurt anybody. No, I haven't. And then girls by the piano. Oh my goodness, the boys had a drugger to make her say that stuff. Nobody mentioned those tapes again when we're out. Someone needs to help. This is insane down here. And yeah. And that Steve and Eric are wanted by the Maslin police for leaving their name on illegal surveillance for stalking. Cause, and they don't know who they are. And Canton's looking for that Eric. Um, so where they think it's funny, they're helping people are wanted for stalking. It's not funny. Because that's what is considered being in somebody's home. Stalking. 